In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to add an Opal card to Samsung Pay and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, different transit or transport cards can be added to various digital wallets, namely the Google Wallet, the Apple Wallet, and in the case of this video, specifically the Samsung Pay Wallet. Now, users have been wondering if it is possible to add the Oppo card to one of those wallets, or specifically, like I said, the Samsung wallet. This would make the process of using the Oppo card much more convenient, because you can simply place your phone near the Oppo card reader, and this would use your balance that is inside of the Oppo card, and you don't have to use your physical card anymore. Now, usually the process to add transit or transport cards to a Samsung Pay wallet is by opening it up, tapping the plus sign, and then choosing the option to add a transit card. However, what you will notice is that after you tap this option, even though you can browse through different regions of the world and different cards that can be attributed to these digital wallets, the Oppo card is not going to be anywhere to be seen. So as of today, is it even possible to add the Oppo card to a Samsung Pay wallet? Sadly, as it stands today and as you might expect, because of a decision made by the transport NSW government, it is impossible to link the Opal card to these digital wallets. This problem is not limited to the Samsung Pay wallet. You cannot link your Opal card to any of the wallets I mentioned, so the Google wallet and the Apple wallet. Unfortunately, you need to use your physical card, or alternatively, you can use another card from other banks that is not the Opal card to make contactless payments using your phone with NFC with one of those wallets, but the actual Oppo card cannot be added to the Samsung Pay wallet. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware about the fact that the Oppo card cannot be added to digital wallets and be used to make contactless payments. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.